Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Last time, we came to this place in pursuit of Terra and discovered Locke's backstory. This time, we're traveling south to a town whose name I can't remember, where we will no doubt discover the backstory of yet another character. Um, which one? We'll have to just wait until we get there to find out. Huh. Well then. And drill. Nice choice, Sabin. Oh, which reminds me. Just finished this battle. I looked- no, I want relics. I looked up the hero's ring, and what it does is it increases your uh, all damage you deal by 25%, which is basically- which is the same thing as the earring, except the earring is only magic. So, if I put this on here, his magic- Sabin's magic damage would be unaffected, but his physical damage would increase. I don't really think that's very worthwhile. On the other hand, if I put it on Celez here, both her magic and physical damage is increased. Which is more worthwhile. And it stacks for magic boosting, but it does not stack for physical boosting. Uh, whatever the hell that means. I guess I have one thing here that boosts physical attack power. I think this one? Yeah, that one. Let's see... I don't really feel like I'm using the sprint juice right now. Much. So, let's see... I don't really want to throw Genji gloves on you. I like having a shield, so... Let's throw the ribbon on you! And on that note... More word to the southward. Those aren't worth very much experience, but it's a good thing they have as much money as they do, because, well, I sort of overdid it a little bit on shopping in Figaro. Um, <laughs> whoops. But, oh hey, these are new. But I kind of need a little more money, because there's a few things coming up that I'm going to want to buy in the next town. Like, nothing essential, but... But there, there's stuff there that I'm going to want. That should kill that one. Now let's see how effective this is. That'll take it. Sleep Sting? Well, that's not so bad. Gold Needle's nice, too. Those things are fairly expensive. Well, worst case, I can just sell some of the things I bought in Fi Figaro Castle, as I bought them on cost, so I don't actually lose money by selling them. I don't gain money either, but I don't lose it. Uh, hopefully I won't need to worry about that, though. Hopefully. Oh, hey, he's new. Iron Fist. I wonder if I can steal something from you. I mean, something valuable, which that was not. And not this time, at least. Maybe next time. Maybe. Maybe. But probably not. Okay, let's... Okay, I think we're almost there now. Yep, at the bottom of this mountain range, because, you know, mountain ranges. Here we are, in the town of Jador. This is Jador, the westernmost town on the world map. Is it really? Because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the thing in the mountain range, whatever the hell that was, was more western. I mean, admittedly, it might not be the t a town, I can't... 
didn't really get a good look at it, but you know, I, I, I'm just saying. Okay, so I want to visit the weapon shop first to show you the stuff I'm not buying because I don't have enough money. Whoops, careful. There is a better sword for Sian. There's a better knuckles for Sabin, which he doesn't actually need because it does not increase his magical power. And there's a knife for Shadow. And plus also throwing stuff. Really? Shadow can't use that? That's surprising. Hmm. However... Now that I've showed you that stuff, time to see the stuff I am going to be buying. Namely the armor. Don't need any shields. Not going to buy one of those. Oh hey, Gao has one? No. He has something equivalent to it? What the hell is Gao wearing on his head? I don't know. Mithril vest? I want? Uh, actually no I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I need to compare these to see which one's better. And I want one of these. Okay, I can buy three ninja gears or two mithril vests. And this just is really good armor, but it's only for women. Attractive white dress that boosts the wearer's magic. Indeed it does. Let's see, though. Let's take off your ninja gear for a second. So that I can compare these. Ninja gear is just better. Okay, um, why is the... why is it less expensive? That's, that's kind of weird, but you know, I can't complain. Maybe if fewer people can wear it. Yeah, that's what's going on. Less people can wear it. Well, you know, I only need one of these. For now. And I want one of these for Edgar. And now I'm broke again. But I had just enough to buy everything. Let's see... You... You know, I didn't even need to buy another Mithra vest! Oh well. Oh well. I can't exactly go back on it now. Well, I suppose I could, but that is seems like more trouble than it's worth. Hmm. Yeah, that isn't actually worthwhile on anyone in my current party. It would pro if I had like Sian or Shadow, that m would probably be worthwhile on them. But on uses tools, uses magic and uses steel, it's not really that relevant. Also, also magic. I'm talking about the twisted headband, of course, in case that wasn't obvious. Which it might not have been, I don't know. Now, there isn't really anything to find in pots or hidden around town, generally, around here, that I'm aware of. Maybe, a, maybe like, a few consumables, but there's no high-end ones, is what I'm saying. Every once in a while, one of those shady kids from Zozo wanders down here, looking for an easy mark. Be careful. Is that so? Maria, the famous opera diva, is absolutely gorgeous! Really? Auction house? Oh, I do not have the money for this right now. We'll be coming back here later on, when I'm less broke. We can do a lot of good- we can get a lot of good stuff from the auction house. Most of which I've actually never done before. In my previous playings of this game, I tended to ignore the opera house. But there is some really good stuff in there, so I'm gonna try to not ignore it this time around. The class divide is quite visible here. All the middle class families live in the southern part of town. The rich folks live up north. You can see one of their enormous mansions from here. Ah. My nose is all clogging up. That's no good. Relic shop? There's nothing new in the relic shop. Wait. Yeah, there's nothing new in the relic shop. So let's go up here to this mansion. 
will be coming back here later in the game as well. But, not at any time soon. Oh hey, it's neither. You're the splitting image of Maria! <laughs> Edgar is the splitting image of Maria? Really? No, of course not, Edgar. I think if you look at our party, you can probably figure out who he's talking about. Man, isn't that Sabin handsome? <laughs> I think I just insulted Maria. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, not that Sabin looks bad or anything, but he is sort of like a huge muscle head. Wait a second. This gives me a bad feeling, this picture. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Where to next is a good question. I guess we need to talk to more people. I'm gonna be an opera singer when I grow up. Huh? You don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here! I thought we were already pretty far south, though. Hmm. All the poor people were forced out of town. I heard they built a new town in the valley between the mountains up north. Okay. Let's try the inn, I suppose. Those folks in Zoza don't have an ounce of honesty among a lot of them. Don't trust a word they say. In other words, everyone in Zolo talks in lies. And exact lies. Like, if they say something is true, then it's false. And if they say something false, then it's true. Period. Because you know that just... You know, let's just... As original tick, it's a really fucking stupid tick. Oh, I should not have said that. Screw it! <laughs> I don't care. This video is rated PG-13. I guess. Um... The commentary is, in any case. So, I haven't ha found anyone who actually told me where to go, but I think I'm just, just gonna go ahead and spell it out for you, perhaps. Um, we need to go to Z Zozo, which is, in fact, that town up north. Having said that, we're not going to go there right away. Because I want to go somewhere else first. Also, bees. Man, I really wish I had a Sabo's the next Blitz. It's actually really useful for this sort of battle. But usually I don't get it until way late in the game, so... I don't know. It's like, it's not that hard to... F well, all of it, he gets new blitzes based on leveling up, so... I guess I just haven't leveled up that high in this part of the game? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even remember when the level queue is for him to get the next one. Oh hey, I learned him! Magic! Because I have magic. Speaking of magic, let's use some of that to do that. Now then, onward to our detour! As I said, detour. Almost there. You know, it just occurred to me, but... It makes absolutely no sense at all for rock-based enemies to be carrying around softs slash gold needles. The one thing that literally kills them instantly. And I'm also just kind of tired of fighting these damn bees. They're a little bit annoying. A little bit. Not that they even hurt me or anything, it's just they take a little while to kill. Like I said, they're annoying. But they're easy enough to deal with, I suppose, so I should not complain too much. 
Hmm. I should try using one of my other, uh, new newer tools. Figure out whether or not the flash thing deals damage. Oh, hey. BAM! Remember, the Kamehameha solves all your problems. Also, Opera House. Wow, really? That That's actually just kind of really lame. I thought I could at least go into the damn place. Oh. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave off here. So, until next time, when we j journey upward and northward and a little bit to the west, into the mountain ranges of Zolo! Zozo! Whatever. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.